How's it going guys? Welcome to another YouTube video. This is going to be how to read and write binary and I'm going to try to step it up a notch. I have a five minute video but I did a little long discussion on that one so I'm going to keep this very basic, very simple, minimal examples and we're going to try to do this in two or three minutes. All right, So we're going to start the timer now. All right, so zeros and ones are basically your only units of measuring stuff in binary. So it's either on or off. One being it's on, one zero being it's off. So if you have a number like 100110, for example, anytime you see a one, that value is turned on. Every time you see a zero, that value is turned off. Now, what are the values of these positions? Uh, they're gonna be identical for every binary number. So you can either memorize this or just have it written down. It's very easy. Starting from right to left, it's going to start with a one and then it's gonna double each time until you reach the amount of digits you have. So for, the, for this example, we have 100110, which is six digits. So first you're gonna write six little digit spots, and then starting from right to left, you're gonna label them, starting from one at the very right, and then doubling it each time. So we have one, then we have two, four, eight, 16, and 32 finally. So this is all your digits values. And now you're gonna write in your actual binary number right below it, 100110. Now, anytime you see a one, that means that value is part of the number. And every time you see a zero, you basically can ignore that value. And all you're gonna do is look at every value that has a one underneath it and add them up, and that's it. So this one is gonna be really easy. It's gonna be 32, because you see it has a one under it. So we're gonna do 32 plus the 16 and the eight have zeros, so we don't use those. Four has a one under it, so plus four and plus two, and the one is a zero, so we don't use that one. So simply 32 plus four plus two, which is 38. So we just converted 100110 into 38. So that is the binary equivalent number in decimal form. Now we're gonna do this in reverse real fast. I got about a minute and a half left here if we wanna keep this under three minutes. All right, so we're gonna start with 41 here, 41. All right, so how do we convert that into binary? Well, you just gotta kinda of reverse your thought process that you just did. So first, we're gonna think of what is the biggest number I can fit in that is based on these values. So we have these values up here from before. We have 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. But now we have to make sure that we can't go past it. So we're just gonna write a couple more. We got 64 and then we can do 128. Obviously that's too much. So the biggest value we can fit inside of 41, or you can think of which value is less than or equal to the number you're trying to do, would be 32 because 64 is bigger than 41. So we're gonna stop there. The next one's 32, that's smaller than 41. All right, so we have a one under 32, which means we're gonna use that number. Now you're gonna take your number, 41, which is our original number, and subtract the 32 that you use. So we have a one under the 32, subtract it. 41 minus 32 is nine. So we have nine remaining. So we have to, we have to assign nine more value, or nine, nine more digits somewhere in this binary. So then you just do the same thing. Which of the following, the left ones, we have one, two, four, eight, and 16 left to choose from, can you fit into nine? And that would obviously be eight. You can't fit 16 and the next biggest one is eight. So zero under 16, one under eight. Do it again, nine minus eight. We have one left. We have to assign one more digit and then we're done with this. And obviously the only digit here that we can assign that's only one would be one. So you cancel, oh, I just missed my time. Oh, well, five more seconds, guys. You just cancel out the, the four and the two, obviously, because they can't fit in. One is the only one that can fit into our final value. Subtract the one, you get zero. That means you are done. You are done. This is your, this is your answer right below here. You have one, zero, one, zero, zero, one. And that is your binary equivalent of that decimal number, 41. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Uh, I did go a little over but this is still a very fast video and very short. If you want a little more explanation and some other tips, you can go check out my, I think it's called under five minutes or five minutes binary. But this one's a lot quicker guys and I tried my best. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.